Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So tonight I'm going to put a Raspberry Pi Pico in this Model 101 GameCube. Um, we're going to do a couple other things as well. Uh, this particular one has a dead battery, so we're going to swap that out and we're going to swap the orange LED out with the blue one. Uh, this one's already modded with a Xeno mod. We're going to leave that in there and it'll still work. Uh, the mod, the Xeno mod will still work as well. So anyway, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, but let me get my camera turned around and we'll get started. Okay. So once you get the, the board out of your cube, um, you can see all these screws over here. Uh, on the 101, you don't have to remove your heat sink, uh, but you do need to remove the six screws. And we're going to be working on this spot here today. Um, so this is going to be the same as the 001. Uh, that, that chip is on the 001 is under the heat sink. That's why you have to remove it. On the 101, it's actually on the other side of the board right here. Uh, it'll wire the same as well If you really wanted to you could tone you could tone this out. That's this connector right here um, But there's some traces that come in here and there's the, you can pull the solder mask off of there and And just solder wires there and then you know you can double stick tape or Your Raspberry Pi Pico here um, I have done this one time. It did work. Um, but the problem with putting it back here is if you need to update this, you have to completely take your cube apart to here to do it. So we're, we're not going to do that today. Uh, so to start off with, um, well, let's just jump right into the hard part, which is this. So it's, it's going to be the same legs um, that you're soldering on the 001, which happens to be up here. And I think I'll do, let's uh, grab a blue, a blue one here. And uh, I mean, I know you guys can't see it, but I'm, I'm looking at my, uh, my computer here. I've got everything. So. And I'm looking at this upside down, so I'm looking at it like this. So we're going to be work, working on the third one over here. There is a brass test pad there you could solder to if you can't get it on the leg. And then, and then we're going to go on the second one right here. So let's, uh, well, how about we use some flux today? So we're just going to put some flux on there. And I'm going to put a little bit of solder on there. Might have got a little too much flux. And I'm going to turn my iron up here. so. I'm going to turn it up to 500. I was working on another project and I needed uh, I needed it to be a lower temperature. So let's uh, try this again. I just want to put a blob of solder on there just like that. Let me uh, let me check this out here. So, not sure how well you guys are going to be able to see that, but you can see I just have a little blob of solder. And we're going to be putting this on this side of the board. So, let's uh let's grab a blue wire here. I'm just going to bend it over like this. I'm going to turn it 
around like this here. And I apologize, my, my finger is going to be in the way. But just for a minute here. I'm just going to line that up like that. I'm going to grab my iron and just push that on there. And that actually looks pretty good. So, all right. So, also, you know, it, it helps if you make your wires long like that because you can, you can, uh, you can trim those off. I just got my little side cutters here. And we'll just go right on the top of the board of the chip, do a little snip, and make sure I retrieve my little piece there. We don't want that rolling around. Okay, so that's the third one over. And now we're gonna do the second one over. And eh, let's use the yellow here. So I'm going to turn this this way. Uh, let's uh, put some more flux on there. See if we can't get a solder blob on there. There we go. You can see I got a little bit of a solder blob. And we'll grab our yellow wire here. Uh, what do I do? And I just want to kind of push that down there like that. So I'm I'm getting I'm getting the the yellow part as close to the pin as I can. Okay, come around this way and let me just touch it. Okay. That's good. Let me inspect this here. That looks good. Let's, uh, Trim that that off. Okay. So now we've got we've got those. Um, and I think I'm just gonna put these something like that. And let me get some tape here. So I've got some uh, captain tape here, and we're gonna peel us off a piece. Take my little blue school scissors and give it a snip. Okay. So we may need to move these wires, but we're not going to worry about that yet. Um, not until we get it back in the board. So I think I'm just going to tape these on just like this. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to flip this over. Now, if you want to remove your heat sink, you can. It might make things a little easier. So, to start off with, we are going to bridge our ground. So, there is two pins. Um, see if I'm looking at it this way. It'll be these two right here. 
we need to bridge those over. Once we bridge those over, um, we'll go ahead and uh, put our wire on. Now you don't really need flux on this. Uh, I'll put a little bit on just because I got it out. It might help us, it might not. I'm just going to drag this over like that. Okay. I'm going to take my black wire since I got a black wire out here. This is going to be our ground. Kind of straighten that out a little bit. Just a little. And then we're going to set that. Let me trim off just a smidge. Okay. And I kind of have the wrong tip on here for doing this. I've got a very fine tip on here, and that's okay. We're just going to let that melt in there. Okay. Alright, so that looks like a good weld. Okay, so next will be, we're going to do GP5 which is going to be the second one over. You know what, let me uh, let me swap this tip out. You have to give it a couple of minutes. Um, let me put a different tip on here and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I swapped out my tip. Uh, this is the one I like to use right here. It's the chisel tip and you can kind of see the difference. Um, using a tip like this um, is actually helpful on that uh, IC on the on the uh, other side of the board. But this one here, uh, I don't know, I just, I've used it, I like it. So it's what I'm using. So, so I'm gonna heat up that, uh, that second pin there. I'm going to add some new solder to it and I'm, while I'm in here I'm going to do the other one as well. Okay. And let's grab a, a blue wire here. So kind of want to think about how you're going to route your wires while you're uh, doing this. It's okay if it's too long. You can always trim it. Just going to heat that up. Okay. Good there. Let's take our little snips here and snip that off. Yeah, I might have bridged that over. Let's take a look. Just didn't get it. Try this again. Okay. There's our extra wire. All right. 
I don't know, some of you guys are screaming at the TV or the computer or phone, however you're watching it. And, but it's a good weld. Okay, and then we got a red wire here. And let's uh, let's just trim a little bit off. But if it makes it easier for you, make it long. Okay, I'm gonna put that one there. Let's uh, get the tweezers here. Need some more solder on there. There we go. Okay. Now we need to inspect our uh, wire there. And it looks like I got uh, a little bit on that other pin there, and we don't want that, so it's easy enough to fix. Just pull it off. There we go. Got it splayed out there, so we'll just. There. We'll do this again. Let's see here, let's uh, my solder over here. That way I can add some fresh solder on, on my uh, iron once I get this in place. Okay. Okay. All right, so there we go. So we've got our three wires up top. We've got our two on the bottom. So let's uh, clean that up with a little bit of IPA here. I can find my toothbrush. There it is. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. use some flux back here so it's just you know, a little bit of a scrub doesn't take much all 
Okay, that looks better. Okay, so now, now we can start uh, soldering to the pie. But before we solder it to the, or the Pico, we're gonna grab the base. So we gotta see what we gotta do with these uh, wires on the bottom. need to be ran over here so when that's it's a little bit of a pinch so let's uh, um, no, I don't I don't really want to cut that so I think it'll be okay but to uh, do something with that so we don't need much we just need to splay this out a little bit Just a little bit more. There we go. Now we can take our uh, little screwdriver here. I'm just going to push this down. Just like that. Kind of gives us a rolled edge there, but gives us plenty of room for those wires, I'm pretty sure. Let's straighten this back out. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. So we can just run it out like that. We got plenty of wiggle room. Okay, so these wires here, I'm going to go ahead and take this out, since we've done that, so there is another uh, spot we're going to have to trim, but we'll get to that once we uh, Get these taped down, something like that. So let's, uh, uh, what do I do with my tape? There we go. like that. I'm going to be blocking your view for a second. And then we'll just put it on like that. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so let me uh, get the pie out or the, the Pico out, and uh, we'll uh, 
trim we need to trim our wires and we'll solder it to the the Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, so I've trimmed up my my wires and I've stripped them and tinned them. So now we need now we just need to um, put these on our Pi. So the Pi is actually going to be sitting over here. These are gonna these are gonna come out kind of like that, but you know more like that. And I am going to put the pie. Let's see, here's the back is here. So this will actually sit on here like this. So this this pie is actually going to be sticking on here. So this is where we're going to be soldering to it once it's back together. So, we need to hook up to, well, these ones might be the easier ones to start off with. Um, I probably could have made these a little bit shorter, but it's okay. So let's start with, uh, well, let's start with the ground. Um, this is the black one. So the ground is going to be, let's see, so on the back of these, you, know, you can see it's got your, uh, you know, there's, uh, what was that? 3.3 volts right here. So that'll be your red wire. Um, let's see, where's the ground? There's a ground right here, so we could put that there. Um, I do have the paper out here, and it does have where they say to put ground, which they say to put ground, yeah, right here. So let's uh, let's do that. So what I'm gonna do. Is I'm just gonna put this through there like that, and uh, let's put some solder on there. I just want to tack it on there for now. Okay, and then I'll clean that up after well let's clean it up now there we go and we'll take our little snips and Snip that wire off. Okay. So next, let's do uh, GP5, which is on this one here is my blue wire. So just look on the back here. GP5 is right here. Put that there. See if I can finagle this around here. I'll just go like that. I'll just push that in there like that. Okay. There's our GP5. And then our 3.3 volts, which is 
which one are they using? They're using the one on this side here, which is this one here. So this one is going to be one, two, three, four, five down. That's our red wire. Okay. Let's just touch that on there. Okay. And we'll snip off that wire. Okay. And then, so GP4 is going to be on our chip. So, and, uh, and that would be my blue wire. There we go. So GP4, which is right there. This is our blue wire. Oh. Well, that isn't that a coincidence? Uh, two blue wires there. Okay, so I'm going to have to hold this. Let's get our solder here. And I'm just going to set my solder here like this. Oops. There we go. Okay. Let's snip that wire off. Okay, and then GP6 and 7 need to be bridged, but <clears throat> we need to put our last wire in there as well. And I might need to strip off a little bit more. No, well, that was convenient. That way I can use this wire to bridge those two pins. So GP6 and 7. So GP6 is right here. And then I'm going to fold this over. Kind of like that. Now let's just get it attached. 
we don't have to screw around with it. We can still bridge it. GP6. I know you can't see this, but just have to do it. Okay, let's fold this over to GP7. So, like that. Okay, it looks good. So that's what we got. Okay, um, that's all the wires. Um, now I haven't programmed this yet. Um, I'll program it here in a minute and uh, and then we'll uh, take it back and plug it in. We'll put an S the SD card in there and see if it see if it powers up. Okay, so you get your cable and you hold your little boot select button down. I've got this plugged into the computer, and it did pop up, and you can see I'm wired up. So. Uh, once that's up, uh, you're going to want to just drag over the picoboot.uf2. And once it's done copying, it should uh, disconnect. And it did. And you see I got a little green light there. So we're done with programming. So now... Uh, I'm going to need to plug this in and once uh, once you plug this in we'll put our uh, SD card in there and let me get this hooked up to the TV and we'll see if it works. Alright so I put the the CD back on there and yeah, let's turn this on there we go so it is booting up boots up pretty quick too um, let's just test a game here I've only got a couple of games on this particular uh, card And so far, so good. I wish games wouldn't force you to watch all that. Let's turn the sound up a little bit just so we can... Here. There we go. So it does work. So the reset button on this is is just going to reset the game, like you have a disc in there. Um, I think there's a utility you can put on your SD card, so when you hit reset, it'll go back to the Swiss menu. Um, that's up to you so but everything's working um, so 
Next, let's uh, swap out this battery and swap that light out for a blue one. Okay, so I've taken it out of the its little shell here. And we're gonna actually start with the battery. Cause this one, this one, like I said, it is dead. Um, it is a bit floppy. I think I'll use this to kind of hold it up there, but let me uh, get my multimeter out here. And I hope you guys can see this. So <clears throat> just touch your probes on here and you should be able to see how many volts you got. And I've got less than a volt. So this should be 3.3 uh, .3 volts and it is currently 0.85 eight, seven, six, five, and it's going down. Um, so we're gonna replace it with a new one. Um, this one here should be 3.3 .3 volts. So I do the same thing here. Let's see. You can see I've got 3.3 .3 volts. So this is the one we want to put in there. Um, I've got a, a, a blue LED here that we're going to put in here. And I think we're going to start with the battery. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to use a manual pump. Uh, you could use solder braid or you could even just heat it up and pull it out. Um, I've done it all those different ways, but, uh, I'm just going to use my little manual pump here and I've got my iron on 475. So let's just, uh, Let's heat this up and see if we need to add solder to it, which eh, we may need to add some solder to it. So let's just put some new solder in here. There we go. And we need to add solder to this side. Yes. And it's going to take a couple of times, but that's okay. And the battery just fell out, and that's that's kind of what you want. Just let that sucker fall. So we're gonna put this this one here in, and uh, <clears throat> make sure you get the polarity correct. So if you look at the top, uh, there should be like a plus or uh, anyway. This is this is gonna be your positive up here, and if you're not sure, you can hook it up to your multimeter. Um, so we're just going to put this in here, just like that. I'm going to bend these pins a little bit just to hold it in there. going to add a little bit of solder for now and then push that down. So I got to add a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to flood that. So There we 
go. Now that it's on there, I'll heat back up and then I can manipulate it to where I want. I think that's good there. Perfect. Okay. Well, we got that. We're going to do the same thing with the uh, the LED here. Um, let's just heat this up. You can see it's loose, just like a loose tooth. There we go. Okay, so our new one, so these particular ones that I got, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a flat, kind of like a flat spot right there. So I'm just gonna take my, I have some squared off pliers here, a little Harbor Freight special, and so as I'm looking at this, this away, uh, I believe I want to put the longer leg towards the right, like that. So, but I'm going to, I mean, you can put it in there, bend it up later if you want. Um, I do kind of like to just kind of bend that up just like that. Um, oh, get on this side here, and we'll just slide that in there like that. Looks good. And then we'll just touch it with a little bit of solder here. Shouldn't take too much. And if you get a little too much on there, it's not, not the end of the world. And you can always pull it off. Okay. So if you do put this in backwards, it's just not going to work. So if you put a light in and you go to turn it on and nothing happens, uh, flip your LED around. We'll snip those legs off and there we go. So now we just need to put it back in our little shell here. Um, so sometimes it's it's easy to put this in upside down. You know, if you put it in like this, uh, for the most part, you can you can screw it down, but you know that's not what you want. So you want this cable down towards your memory card slots just like that and then once you get this back in there just put it back in your system and try it out so and that's exactly what I'm gonna do and as soon as I get it hooked back back up, um, we'll take it back, we'll plug it in, and we'll see what it's like. Okay, so I got it all back together, and you can see how I got it mounted there. I did put a little bit of tape on here. Um, it's really not necessary, but, you know, you can. You know, everything's out of the way. Um, so... All that's left is to put the shell on. So I'm not gonna screw it down yet, but uh, let's uh, take it back, hook it up, and so you guys can see what it looks like with that light. So I've got it all buttoned back up. So let's uh, make sure it still works, which it looks like it is, and look at that beautiful blue the green looks really good in here too but we got blue today 
Um, I'm not going to go over how Swiss works. Um, there's plenty of videos on that. Um, all I can tell you is, is this one does work. Um, this is, this would be a good project if you're just starting out. Um, a little bit challenging, um, but if you take your time, you can, you can do it. So that's going to do it, um, for this video. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.